Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be having a look at an HP laptop. This is the Pavilion. Uh, it's the EG3019NA. So this is the unit itself, uh, comes, as you would expect, in a ball box. Inside here we've got the power adapter, this is a 65 watt charger. And we've also got the UK cable for the charger. And then inside here, we've got the cardboard packaging. This is a clamshell design of packaging that sort of these side bits just press into it. So that's good to see they're using cardboard packaging. Inside, we've got a plastic bag. Okay, and then inside the plastic bag, we've got a laptop. So this is a silver finish. Um, it's typical, nice, smooth top. Looks, feels premium. It's got a good solid hinge on it. And this one's a touch screen, so it's a reflective uh, panel finish glass front but uh yeah touch screen uh, it's nice finish it's sort of sandblasted in silver and this one is it's got a core i5 133u 1335u it's a 10 core two performance cores and eight efficient cores uh, with a turbo max of 4.6 gigahertz. Comes with 16 gig of DDR4 3200 dual channel, so two by eight gig um, sodium chips with a transfer speed of 3200 mega transfers a second. Okay, the, uh, the ports on the side are as follows. So we've got an uh, HDMI uh, port here. This is HDMI 2.1. We've also got one USB Type A 5 gigabit signaling rate and one Type C 10 gigabit signaling rate. Um, also supports Display Port 1.4 and also Sleep and Charge. Then further down here, we've got a combined head headphone jack, so headset jack. Around the other side of the laptop, we've got a Kensington lock and we've got another Type A um, 5 gigabit signaling rate uh, port there. And then we've got our power adapter and our LED next to the power adapter, which displays when it's charging and when it's on. And that's all there is to it. So the side finish, it's got sort of a slightly flared design down the side, so it flares out which is quite nice. On the back, plenty of airflow uh, intake here. It'll exhaust out through um, the hinge in front of the screen. And then we've got our speakers here. Now the audio on this uh, is by B&O, so it should be fairly good. It comes with HP Audio Boost as well. And then the camera on the inside, so it's a 720p HD camera, and it's got temporal noise reduction and integrated dual array digital microphones. So the first thing I want to do is just to uh, get the cover off and have a look inside. Okay, so we're going to turn the unit over and let's have a look to see where the screws are. So we've got two at the front here and I'm presuming that we're going to have some under these rubber feet bars. So we're going to need some tools. 
So I've got some prizer tools, some Phillips screwdrivers. I think we're going to need a few other pieces. Okay, so let's start off with removing these screws. We need a small Phillips screwdriver. Let's make sure that that's not going to come off anyway. No, so I think. See if we can use the tweezers to get under here. Okay, so it looks like it's just one on the end, which is fine. So I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. Okay, it's that screw out from there. And then we'll do the same at this side. We're just going to get the tweezers under the edge. Okay, so the tape on this bit has come away from the backing. So we want to peel that up. So we want to preserve that sticky -ness. That. Uh, I'm not sure if there's one in the middle there, so I'm just going to peel this all the way past the middle. Okay, no, there isn't. That's fine. So that can go back down in there. And now we'll have a look at the back. One at the back here. Is there one in the middle? None in the middle, so that means there'll be one at this end. Now let's see if we can get the uh, panel, the back panel open. I think I'm going to try from the back first of all. Yep, yeah. there we go. Just on clips by sliding your fingertips in the back. And then we should be able to get a prize at all to go down the outside. I'll hit that. And the same down the right hand side as well. Just gently running that down until it frees it up. And that should just lift off. Okay, so this looks quite good. So um, let's talk about the CPU and GPU. So as I mentioned, it's a 13th gen Core i5 CPU, and we also, which is which is under here, and then under this part here we've got our dedicated graphics so this is an nvidia ge force mx550 so it's only two additional gig but it's gddr6 and it's a dedicated gpu so um yeah it should be uh, fairly powerful should be able to do some cad work and some light gaming on here um let's talk about the drive so this is um our 512 gigabyte uh, PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD drive and then we've got our two 8 gig sticks giving us 16 gig of RAM in total. Um, upgradeability, um, there is none really. So the only thing that you can upgrade is your storage and your memory. So your storage you can go all the way up to, well, two terabytes, four terabytes if you want to. And then you can also upgrade uh, your RAM here. Now apparently the maximum is uh, 64 gig I think 232 gig uh, chips but I wouldn't bother I would uh, stick with 16 or 32 gig there but th that comes pre-configured but you can obviously change the RAM and then our battery over here this is a three cell battery um, 41 watt hour lithium iron so that is uh, obviously changeable, uh, just the screws to remove that. And it sits on top of the battery clip there. And then our Wi-Fi card. 
This is Wi-Fi 6 and it comes with Bluetooth 5.3, um, supporting gigabit data rate on the wireless card. That's all there is in terms of the upgradability. So let's get the cover put back on. So the size of the device, um, this is 36.02 centimeters by 23.4 centimeters this way and the depth is 1.79 centimeters. It weighs 1.74 kilograms, so a nice light unit. So it's easy to get the cover back on, just all snaps back into place, and then it's just a matter of getting the screws put back in. So three screws, uh, four screws, one, two, three, four, and then the two screws um, from the front. Okay, so, Powering it on, we've got our power button up here. So just give that a press. This one comes with Windows 11. I'm not sure whether it's Pro or Home version, so we're going to have a look at that. Um, so there's our HP logo. That's all good. We want to see if we can get the screen capture working. Okay. Here we are, let's get logged in. Right, so I've already been through and configured this. So I'm now gonna go in and just check the system over. So there we go. So we're running at 1.3 gigahertz currently, but as I mentioned, it's got a 4.6 gigahertz boost clock, 16 gig of RAM. Okay, so this comes with Windows 11 Home, which is absolutely fine, and 23H2, so it's the latest version. So let's have a look at the touch screen. Let's see how that works. Okay, this is me with my finger on the screen, dragging that across. That all works okay. It's a nice bright screen. Let's have a look at the uh, brightness controls. So that's max brightness. Um, the way I've got it configured is these background images will rotate and change. Uh, it didn't come with any bloatware at all, which is great. Single version of Microsoft Office on here. Let's have a look at the device manager. So we've got our camera there. Bluetooth. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a this brand new mini Wi Fi moment. camera is disrupting. So we're saying no thing. System Drinking directly. coffee every so day didn't work for me, so but I couldn't figure that. out why until I went from 184 to 123. Okay. It was doing every... So welcome for... There we go. Double-sided adhesive. Sounds so, great. <laughs> okay, so the audio sounds superb. Let's just check out the camera. Yes to that for location, and there we go. Okay, so that's great quality. So that's all there is to that video. If you've got any questions, leave us a comment below. Otherwise, just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.